हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल तो कैसे हैं आप लोग आई होप यू हैव सीन माय लेक्चर ऑफ द फास्ट पार्थ कि हाउ द नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट इट केम टू इफेक्ट द बैकग्राउंड हाउ डिड द वर्ल्ड वर इफेक्टेड देन महात्मा गांधी केम द सम्प्रान इन बिहार सम्प्रान देन खेडा मूवमेंट खेडा सत्याग्रह देन अहमदाबाद मिल्क स्ट्राइक देन केम द रोलत इफेक्ट then happened the jallianwala bag which ended the sectagra after the khilafat movement when the hindu and muslim they united and then how they gave the idea of uh, non cooperation movement in in this lecture we are going to read how this non cooperation movement happened so uh, we are going to get the idea how it changed to a movement and how the different people of different section of people they reacted and how it ended so Uh, why did we need the non cooperation movement why that idea came see gandhi said what was that if uh, like britishers were supposed to dominate us because we are directly or indirectly uh, cooperating with the british like working in this uh, offices going to the schools or something like that so that's why uh, british are able to suppress us so gandhi said what uh, we can only get our freedom by stopping this cooperation with the british and so he started this movement called the non cooperation movement so how was this non cooperation movement supposed to be given na uh, to spread all over in uh, india because it was a very large territory then how it was supposed to spread so what gandhi said was it would spread in a uh, stage manner like one after another so how is it so gandhi said that it will go in a stage like first we will give up the titles in this year uh, our ravindranath tagore he gave up a title i would like you to know uh, to tell me what he gave up what was the title abhi thoda research kijiye aapke liye acha hai aur agar aap bolte hai then no aapka hi knowledge badhega aap thoda dekhiye comment kijiye dusre ka bhi thoda bhala ho jayega anyways uh, coming back to the topic after that uh, they boycotted the school and college the spelling is wrong sorry uh, they boycotted the school and college they boycotted british goods so what gandhi said was doing all those things could break the backbone of british empire and we can uh, like get our freedom which we wanted fine so but is all people happy with this uh, idea no because there were some people who were being who, who got the benefit by the british and they didn't want that to end so gandhi ji went against them he said that no only for a section of people we cannot let the entire india to suffer so he stood against them again there were some people who were afraid of violence like during satyagraha the jallianwala massacre that happened they were afraid that it could happen again so uh, like he was scared uh the we should not do that again in a non violent manner but gandhi still that no we are going to do it in non violent manner and if our non violence is being targeted back again by the violence then we are going to launch a civil disobedience movement we this like uh, i would like you to uh, understand that uh, the basic uh, the non cooperation movement and the civil disobedience movements both are different thing i would like you to know that so anyways uh, after a long debate uh, in the nagpur session during 1920 uh, this non cooperation movement was adopted the idea was given on september 1920 in my last uh, last lecture i have told you when was the idea given and this was when the non cooperation movement was adopted so how did this non cooperation movement affected the defined areas so let's see first in urban area see basically since it's urban area it's a developed area so you can develop means what there's lots of industries foods dress you no know, better facilities so all those facilities were basically from foreign goods foreign clothes foreign foods so uh, all those things were being boycotted again uh, again mistake uh, this is sorry again uh, this is college uh, anyways kya hoga so anyways so they boycotted the school and college fine then they boycotted the election in urban areas but when they boycotted the election there was a party called justice party at madras which was a non brahmanical party so they did boycott the election not because their intentions were to go against india but they thought that they could do better by staying inside the system their thought was good but 
they didn't wanted to cooperate by boycotting the election in this non-cooperation movement. After that, they boycotted the goods, liquors, and textiles. They boycotted to such an extent that the revenue of India at that moment, which they got per annum was 102 crores, came down to 57 crores. It was like half of the revenue. And this troubled the British a lot. And I'm telling you a lot. 57 from 102 is a very big amount. Anyways, but this didn't stay long in uh, urban areas because why you see, there was no other school or college to go. And uh, like in the Khadi, they didn't have that uh, much expense no, to get from uh, like there was no much meal. You cannot get the Khadi available. So the few which you get are, are very are very expensive, and the poor people they cannot afford it. So it didn't uh, end up well in urban areas. After urban areas, we went to the rural areas. In rural areas, we can see it in two different parts. One is the peasant and one is the tribal. So the, in case of peasant, we can see that, uh, let's see in Awad, there was a forced labor name, uh, known as Baba Ramchandra, which is a sannyasi. But what is this forced labor at Fiji? See, uh, beforehand, uh, to work in other areas, British used to take laborers from India and they uh, take them to outside India and they make them to work out there. So when they work there, uh, there are many places uh, they suffer, some of them die and people don't even knew the his household, the people, his wife, his mom, his dad, they didn't even get any idea that is he alive or is he dead, is he doing good, is he suffering from something, is he very happy, they go get, they get no news from them. So it was very a bad situation of forced labor. Baba Ramchandra was a forced labor who like luckily he came back from Fiji hmm. he came back and see uh, this effect of forced labor you can even see uh, and a very good example is that during our uh, cricket uh, the West Indies player Sunil Narayan is a very good spinner but if you see the name it's Indian name Sunil Narayan so how he get it because like his lineage from where he descended was someone uh, who was taken from India I guess or some relation he had some relation so not only in West Indies, you can see all over the world, you can see people who are uh, like their origin in India, but they are staying in different countries, but their original home is in India. So all those are effect of these British policies. Anyways, let's come back to the topic. Uh, this uh, Baba Ramchandra, what he did, he went against the talukdars and the landlords and he demanded the abolition of beggar. Beggar means to work for someone and he was not even going to get paid. So he wanted to abolish that. And after that, he again uh, revolted against the high rent for the peasant. So he did that. Again, th there was a protest of Naidhobi. Naidhobi means, uh, Nai means the barber who cut the hair of the, the rich. And Dhobi means who, who was the clothes. So if the barber and the Dhobis, they come back, then who is going to cut the hair of the rich or uh, make their face or who is going to wash their clothes? So all those things, that troubled the landlord. So they came back. Again, they uh, made the Awad Kishan Sabha. It was done by Jawaharlal Nehru and Baba Ramachandra itself. So what they did was they collected the peasant from all over India to join this Sabha. And with this, what they, the main aim was to gather the mass, to get the manpower, as much as manpower they could get, and like that will make them stronger. So their main aim was that. But what happened, this protest in rural areas wasn't mm, like, peaceful non cooperation movement was supposed to be non violent but this in this scenario it was violent why because people took the chance and they attacked the landlords they looted their properties they, they some of them destroyed their property so it was non violent and it was all done by the name of mahatma gandhi which was not liked by him after that uh, we could come to the tribal areas uh, that is the gorilla movement at that time, it was very uh, taking a very good firm step uh, during non cooperation movement. Why? Because the Britishers had a very strict uh, forest policy in which they are not allowed to stay, I mean, stick within their homes. They were forced to go to war or any other labor. Uh, they were not given freedom to work in the forest. They have to plant the trees, the Britishers wants. So all those different kinds of uh, uh, policies that the British put to them, they didn't like and so they revolted against them. So among those tribals, one of the people, he's a very interesting story about him. That's Aluri Sitarama Raju. 
So what he claimed is that he had some kind of special power and he could do some astronomical prediction and he could heal people, he cannot be killed by bullet shot. Bullet shot. So uh, many people thought him to be the incarnation of God. But among all those uh, superficial things, the main good thing was that he was a supporter of Gandhi in non-cooperation movement and he supported Gandhi by asking the people to stop drinking liquor and to wear khadi clothes. But one thing he didn't uh, match with Gandhi was that he believed in the tactics of violence when needed. Anyways, so like he was then later captured and executed in 1924. After rural areas, uh, we had the plantation field. The main purpose of plantation field uh, people was that to get free because they were being held uh, by the law of Inland Immigration Act in 1959 where if they come for plantation field, they are never allowed to leave that field and they are never allowed to go to their home, which was very harsh to them. So they took the advantage and they wanted to go. So they supported Gandhi and once they all came up and they went uh, on foot to their home. But unluckily they were caught by the police and they were beaten up very badly and they never reached their home. So you see the non-cooperation movement even though it started, it was different for different people. For urban people it acted in a different way. For rural people it was violent and against the landlords or against the law officers who enacted the forest laws. Again in plantation it was against the plantation owner, the owner of the land. So they wanted to be free. So everyone had their own agenda. but. To fulfill their own agenda, they took the base as non-cooperation movement. And with that base uh, feeling, since everybody had the same base, they had a common feeling and that was agitation against the British. And with that came a slogan called Swatantra Bharat. That was the slogan that came from non-cooperation movement. So when this non-cooperation movement it was going on, when did it end? It ended with a very bad incident called Chauri Chora incident on 5th February 1922. So what happened was that during 3rd Feb, an army officer called Bhagwan Nahir, uh, he was protested, uh, he started protesting um, in the Chauri Chora, the police station, in front of Chauri Chora police station because at that market um, there was a liquor shop which he wanted to be closed and also because the price of the commodities were very high. So he protested. Uh, in front of that uh, market so the police officer from the station they came and took him to the custody and put him to the jail so he was at the jail so on 5th uh, Feb uh, because he was in the jail other people uh, they again started the protest they protested for two things this time mainly to release uh, Bhagwan Ahir and with his fellow mates and to reduce the rate of the commodities that are being increased uh, people were gathering they were protesting but the SI, the sub-inspector, he didn't like and he thought to suppress the uh, protest and he sought a fire um, in the air first. Hearing that fire, the people get agitated and around 2000 to 2500 people, they start coming towards the uh, station. Looking at the situation, the inspector thought that no, the situation is going out of hand. So let's end this. And so he started firing to them. At that moment, three of the protesters that died and many were injured. But uh, the main evidence is not given, but maybe their bullets run off or the looking at the crowd, the constable, they became scared. And so what happened? They had to retreat. The policemen had to retreat. But the protesters didn't stop at that. They came in, they burned the entire police station. And they, uh, with that incident, around 22 policemen died and three civilians died. So with that moment, uh, it again, the non-cooperation movement, it again became violent. And Gandhiji again didn't like that incident. He went on fast for five days and then he stopped the non-cooperation movement. And it was officially stopped on 12 February 1920 by the Indian National Congress. So this was how the non-cooperation movement ended. Uh, we can have a picture of Chauri Chora here. You can see how the people, they started gather and they started the fire. So anyways, uh, with this I would like to end my lecture. I hope you liked my lecture and like uh, you have understood the base at least. See, uh, for civil service, um, this information is not only enough. You need to study a bit more. But if you like my videos and if you think the content, uh, just to give the base idea for the preliminary study, I've given you the content. But 
now eventually i'm going to uh, put videos of incident uh, that uh, like happened uh, during uh, the khilafat movement that happened during the uh, champran movement Ahmedabad mix time. I am going to explain everything part by part. This is just giving you the outline, and now every moment I will explain in that way you can understand very nicely. And see, I have arranged everything in systematical order so that you can understand. I can even like recall right now that uh, 19, in 1915 Mahatma Gandhi came, 1916 the Sampran movement came, in 1917 the Keda uh, Satyagraha start, in 1918. A mother mud uh, milk strike started, then Jaliwan Wala, uh, sorry, then Rolla Tech in 1919, then Jaliwan Wala Bag Massacre, then it came the Khilafat movement, and after Khilafat movement, we started the non cooperation movement, which ended in 1922. See, it's very easy if you read it systematically order. And my main motive is to make this uh, history easier, not tougher. There are many places where, like, you, you can have everything haphazardly. Someone is going to teach you Khadi Satyagraha first and then he's going to go to Champran movement. Uh, you, you cannot get the link actually. You can understand the thing but you cannot get the link. So this is not how it's going to work. You need to link everything. And if you link everything with the map, then it's again even easier. My next lecture will be through maps so that I can make you learn even easier. Anyway, so I hope uh, you like my videos. I hope uh, you share and you subscribe my videos and share as many as, as you can. Uh, if someone is getting benefited from my videos, that I will be the most happiest person then. So if uh, there is any wrong or any query, uh, like you can mail me or you can comment me. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.